Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everybody. I say thank you very much to all who have given me time to me to step forward here. Now I would like to introduce myself. My name is Alinda Nurfadila Zain and my nickname Alinda. You can call me Alin. Uh, I'm from Garut. semester of Islamic Religious Education Department. Here, I will tell you about my life before and after COVID-19. The first is I will tell my experience before the coronavirus. Before the outbreak of a viral disease, that originated in China and then spread to our country, Indonesia. I used to go about my normally as usual, doing home activities starting from getting up in the morning, cleaning the bed, crying out the morning fires, then continuing to wash clothes. After I finished my homework, I always followed my mother to the market to buy groceries, but because I am currently studying in Bandung, my activities are a little different. Wake up in the morning as usual, to clean a bed, play a town, to continue washing clothes, prepare books and items that must be brought to college. Every morning, before leaving for college, I always head a town to continue using clothes, prepare books and items that must be brought to college. Every morning, before leaving for college, I always had an energetic breakfast to build my hunger. As usually, I go to campus using public transportation only public transportation. Studying with my friends, doing campus activities, working in groups that we like to stay together. If Sundays are free, and I, with my friends, go to the CFD or car free day. Usually, after I get home from campus, I buy food. Then, when I arrive at the boarding house, I do the Monday prayer. I iron right clothes and tie dye them into the cupboard. I always pray five times a day. When I feel I work on this assignment to be submitted. After the coronavirus pandemic, my activities after the coronavirus pandemic were very different. Get up early as usual and others. However, I could no longer go to the market because there were many people interacting or there were crowds. It is very that the spread of the coronavirus will occur quickly. I am very worried when the COVID-19 pandemic takes place. There will be economic impacts on individuals, families, business, worry about social impacts when economic problems occur. Also worry about the government's ability to handle this healthy disaster care. Saying the spread of the coronavirus, the World Health Organization or WHO has declared COVID-19 a global pandemic in an effort to stop the spread of the virus. Many countries have implemented lockdown to stop all outgoing and incoming activities. 
in Indonesia, although it has not fully implemented a lockdown, many regions have implemented large-scale social action or PSBB. Then, I asked a student become the impact of the COVID-19 as well. Lectures are concerted rapidly at home online. For me, online lectures are less effective because the material presented